All right, MMA fans, I'm here with 2022 PFL World Await finalist, Mr. Sadibu Sai. Hello, sir. How are you today? Hey, I'm very good. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks for asking. So we're recording this interview early in the morning. Um, how is your usual daily routine? Let's put it like this. Uh, yeah, correct. It's 9 a.m. for me. Uh, so I usually wake up around 8.30. Uh, and uh, uh, I I eat a little bit, have some coffee. Uh, then I have my first breakfast uh, around 10. Uh, then home, rest. Then I have another practice, usually around 3.30 or 5.30, depending on the day. Uh, home, rest. And then I usually try to go for like a long walk or something uh, in the evening. Um Right now, you're not in Sweden. Uh, where are you preparing for the PFL Championships? Uh, so I'm in Las Vegas. Uh, I've been here since uh, January. Oh, okay. uh, I've, I've, I've been doing my... Like, it started actually last season uh, because between the two regular season fights for PFL, mm -hmm. uh, they did not want me to go back to Sweden because of COVID protocols. So I came to Vegas and did my camp here uh, for my second fight. Uh, and after that, I really enjoyed being here. So I came here uh, for this season. Oh, I, I understand. So you haven't you been able to travel back to Sweden since starting the 2022 regular season? Yes, I have. So because when we fought in uh, Cardiff in August, I okay. went to Sweden uh two weeks before the fight and then i stayed uh, one week after the fight as well and uh, how was it to go back there uh... it, it was it was it felt very nice to be back to be honest uh to meet people and like family and friends uh mm -hmm. that you haven't been seeing for a while uh but at the same time uh, it made me uh, realize that I made the right decision of being, of, of being here in Las Vegas uh, for my preparations because it's um, it's easier for me to be here. I stay more more focused and I have less uh, less things around me that's that's taking me away and taking my mind up of training. And of course, the results uh, speak for themselves. So apparently, it has been working so far. This <laughs> year, you, you recorded just victories. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll start uh, talking about that in a little bit. Listen, the answer yeah. of this question might be obvious, but I like to hear it from you. How is it that you're called the Swedish Denzel Washington? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to give you uh, a sh the short and I'll try to break it down quick for you. Uh, so I, I made um, uh, two movies uh, in Vietnam with one of my best friends. Uh, and the first movie that I, that I, that I acted in, um, when I went to Vietnam, I believe it was in 2016, uh, for, uh, to see the, uh, what do you call it, the, for the release of the movie. Uh, I, I was there uh, and uh, for the premiere of the movie. Sorry. Okay. Uh, so I was there and uh, I saw myself for the first time acting, right? Uh, and, I, and I said that, uh, I, I told myself that because Denzel the Washington is my favorite actor. So I told myself, Oof, it, it, it was no Denzel Washington, like my own performance, right? Okay. So when I told uh, PFL uh, about, about this, they started to laugh. Uh, and before my first fight, uh, when I was walking out in 20, season 2018, uh, they just called me Swedish dancer. Like, what? <laughs> so, I, so I did. So that's how it came about. And uh, after that, they asked me if if they could uh, use it, and I was like, Yeah, why not? Like, I love. I, I like to have fun, and I don't take myself that serious. Like in in that sense. Uh, like uh, so. So I was like, Yeah, if you like, it, go ahead. Why not? <laughs> that, that's it. That's a good story. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, for real. It is really, really good. Um, you yeah. talked that you're not taking yourself too seriously outside the cage, but inside the cage, we can say that you are try to be yeah, it's different. 
just business. Uh, this year you fought three times. Uh, in, it's not the first time actually when you competed so often in uh, yeah. a, in a few months, no. So yeah. what do you think about that? And are you already accustomed to competing so often in a very span? In a very yeah, in the span of a few months. <laughs> Uh, yeah, to be honest, it's uh, that's right. I fought three times in three months and one week, uh, which is a lot. And uh, uh, thankfully, uh, I, I came out uh, with no major injuries, uh, which made it so much easier. Uh, but I would definitely say that it's very, very, very mentally and, and physically uh, it's exhausting to to just after a fight. Uh, you before PFL, uh, I used to like take a week off, take two weeks off, um, like take it easy and then ease in back to the training. But uh, in PFL, you don't have that time, even though you stay in shape um, mentally to just start to, to, to get a new opponent the week after you just fought uh, to have a new opponent that you're going to face in six, seven, eight weeks. Uh, it's uh, it's not easy, uh, but for me, uh, since I've been doing this since uh, yeah 2018, um, I've become accustomed to it, and it's it's for me it's become easier, and I believe also that's why you see the results from 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 this season, uh, training a little bit smarter, knowing how to manage my body and the output in between the fights, uh, because I cannot go so hard because you will just burn yourself out. Uh, so it's a little bit experience uh, also, but I like it uh, because you get the opportunity to grow. Uh, if you see, if you look at me, you look at last season or, or, or even from 2018, to today, you're gonna see two different fighters, uh, and uh, and it's because because of the the you don't have the time to not look at yourself and be honest and see okay what do I need because you only have a couple of weeks, uh, so I love it. You showed this um, growth as, as an athlete, you know, these uh, your your improvements. Uh, you showed them this year by you know by actually by controlling all your opponents and taking yeah. home a decision uh, you okay. fought three times uh, again uh, the first fight was against uh, Nikolai Alexakin then you competed against Rory McDonald and then yeah. you defeated Carlos Leal um, in your opinion which was the toughest fight of this year <clears throat> So far, at least. Um, I, yeah, so far, I would say I would say all of them was different for for, for various reasons. Uh, the Nikolai fight was uh, was hard because I didn't get in my in my mojo, I should say. Like uh, I didn't I didn't feel like I I, start, I came in relaxed when the fight started. I had a very good camp and every, everything was was smooth, uh, but I didn't. Uh, uh, I didn't do, I didn't fight a good fight. So I made it much tougher than it should have been. Um, against Rory, uh, it was tough because it was a lot on the line. I knew that I needed the victory. Uh, and uh, I knew that uh, uh, he was going to bring his A game. Um, so, but as soon as I felt like the wrestling, uh, he wasn't going to take me down, I could start feeling more and more relaxed, which was a good, good thing. Uh, and the Carlos Leal fight was, uh, was tough because it was hard to understand what, what, what he wanted to do. Like before the fight, I didn't know exactly what, what, I, what, what I thought he, he was going to try to do. Um, uh, but as the fight, as the fight uh, progressed, after the during the first fight, I felt like I got his his rhythm and his distance. So I started to pick him apart in the first round, and I actually felt like I thought I I broke him in the round after the first round, and he came back in the second round with like a whole different mentality and just went forward. And uh, uh, that I, I did not expect that, uh, and. Uh, 
that made the fight a little bit tougher than it should have been. Right now, you're scheduled to take on uh, Delano Taylor on November the 25th at the Hulu Theater at Madison Square Garden. Were you sure. expecting to face Taylor uh, in the final? And yeah, I I'd like to hear your, uh, you know, your opinion or your upcoming opponent. So, uh, yeah, that's correct. I'm facing Delano. Um, and the thing is, with PFL, to be honest, I've been, I, I know that it's hard for you to, uh, to think about the next opponent. So when, when I, when I, we fought obviously at the semifinals together, he fought, he faced Rory. And uh, for me, uh, I just, I just looked at, I wanted to see the fight uh, and, and whoever, whoever came out victorious uh, was gonna, uh, yeah, was was gonna face me obviously, and uh, I didn't I didn't hope for someone. I didn't like I knew that the fight would be <clears throat> bigger if I fought Rory because of his name, um, but I actually thought that uh, Delano was even though I beat Rory a couple of weeks earlier, I thought that Delano would be a better stylistically matchup for me, uh, so. So for, for that, for that I, wasn't, I wasn't thinking about like, yeah, I want this guy or that guy to win. And since uh, that's go, that goes back to what we're talking about with PFL, because it's 10 or, 10 or 12 guys in the bracket, depending on how the format is for PFL, right? Yeah. So uh, it's, it's hard to go around and think like, I, I don't want to face that guy, I want to face that guy. It's For me, it's easier to just prepare to the best of my ability and when i get the name that's the name that matters all the other names doesn't matter uh, because it's a, it's a tournament otherwise it would be so much emotions like ah, oh, damn i hope that was gonna get that guy oh you're up and down up and down and that's part of like, the season being so like uh, hectic yeah th i understand i understand that's fair enough so yeah Last year, you went as far as the semis. This year, you're competing in the final. Do you believe that this is the right year you will pocket the $1 million award? This year is the year I will be the world champion for the fifth time, uh, getting this belt, and uh, the money will come with, with it. Uh, I've, I've, I've trained, uh, I've evolved, uh, and uh, I believe that uh, even though uh, Delano is a, a very nice kid and a very good fighter, a dangerous opponent, don't get me wrong, <clears throat> I believe that I have everything, uh, everything to, uh, to be victorious. And, um, and I believe that that's what we're going to see on uh, November 25th. How are you planning to spend your money in case of victory? <laughs> Uh, to be honest, uh, I'm not gonna have so much fun because um, I'm, uh, a lot of it is gonna go towards me being able to just focus on on my uh, on my training. I don't have to worry about uh, about that. Of course, I'm gonna uh, because it's a lot of money. Of course, I'm gonna help out uh, with my family and stuff. But uh, a lot is gonna go to investments. Uh, because uh, I, I have to think long, long, long you know, uh, there's a life after I'm done fighting. So uh, do, do investments and focus on being able to continue fighting. Sadibu, it was a pleasure for me. I finished my questions. Before I let you go, do you have any last messages you would like to share with us today? Uh, thank you so much for the interview, first and foremost. And uh, I just want to tell everyone that I need you on November 25th. Tune in and uh, and uh, please make me proud. I'm, I'm going to try my best to make you proud. Thank you for giving us a little bit of your time today. Best of luck with your upcoming fight. And hopefully I will hear again from you in the future, my friend. All right, let's do it. Take care, my friend. And have, have a great nice weekend. Day. Bye, bye, bye. Okay.